Hi my cyber angels, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and uh, thank you very much for liking and sharing all the videos and coming into the life and if you are new and you've just landed on this page or this channel uh, welcome to this channel and I hope you will enjoy the readings and remember I also do weekly readings that's just one video for all the signs for every day and this is the personal reading for you for the whole week for your zodiac sign I'm just making a general introduction video so I'll try to keep it short as there is also new stuff news um, welcome like I said and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be informed um, uh, or notified rather when something new happens when I go live or when new videos are loaded up there are also romance readings every month and uh, weeklies and uh, a separate one for all signs just see what resonates with you and take it from there and the news is that um, I'll be going live on face uh, on Facebook on Sunday the 2nd of August and it is on the page of online well-being mind body spirit fair the 2nd of August so join us there it is at 11 till 1900 British Standard Time and on the Eastern Time it is 6 o'clock in the morning until 1400 and I'll repeat that 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening British Standard Time and 6 o'clock till 2 o'clock Eastern Time and I hope you will enjoy that there are loads of cyber stalls because uh, there are a load of participants that are selling their wares or showing you uh, what they do like tarot readers uh, Reiki Masters, Meditations, I'm coming in with the Lenaman. So come and join me, I'm going live at 12.40 um, that is um, the uh, Dutch time and 6.20 in the evening till 7 o'clock um, also so keep a scout around you can find me under Charlie's Angel and uh, perhaps the times might be different so excuse me if I got the time wrong because in England it is an hour early and it's an hour later for me so please join me in the online well-being mind body spirit fair tomorrow the 2nd of August and that is one bit of news and the second bit of news is that I have got a new page it's called Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook and there um, we can interact really much better than just the chat and there will be meditation groups uh, workshops uh, other things happening there it is a private group so remember that if you do join you don't have to join in all the live sessions but it is called the rooms or the space and there you can see each other but you can always uh, switch off your video camera and take place so um, if you do join that group please respect the privacy of others and I do not take uh, uh, discrimination or of any kind or pesting likely then one will get disqualified deleted without notice or warning so if you would like to uh, join the private group then please join us and I've also got out two new reviews on two books uh, which I'm going to use with an English witch and a Dutch witch I'm going to make the new series with Wendy um, on the, the healthy witch and the workplace spell and um, everyday magic on the job so have a look at these two reviews and see if you would like to join me with Wendy or with the other witch the Georgina 
in English there will be in two languages and there will be a new series so I'm doing a live review on YouTube with Wendy and with Georgina so here we go and we're going to start off with your reading thank you for being here and remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign I love you love from cyber mom and big cyber hugs and I hope to see you back if you're a cyber angel in the live sessions and if you can't join us because of holiday or any other reason enjoy your holiday stay safe and stay well Hi Leo, this is Shah. This is your reading for the 3rd to the 9th of August and we open up with the card of August, Leo. Um, and we are in Leo, so you are in your ultimate beautiful feeling. I don't know how you call it. Um, I'm hearing nopius. You are feeling, wow, you're feeling right at the top of the world. You are also in the spotlight, Leo. Um, you might be meeting another Leo. You might meet, be meeting your soulmate. In this deck, we've got the lovers. And so I feel that you might be very, very happy because this is one of the best cards that you can possibly get in the tarot. And here it is symbolized with two people. There might be an extension in the family. You might find out you're pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. But m some of you might even go up a next step in your uh, partnerships, whether it's love or uh, in business. You might go up to the next level. You could also be going on holiday to a warm place or you could be moving home. Like I said, this is the card of fertility and birth. Birth of a child or a project. But if you are expanding the family, it could also be simply uh, um, a new project like work or a little dog or a little cat. That's how you can expand or extend your family as well. Right. Remember, you are in the spotlight, Leo, so um, there might be another Leo having an eye on you. There, where there is a spotlight, there is also illumination. You might need more information with regards to a situation or a question. Okay. Then we have the Wanderer. The Wanderer is the Fool. And look, if you look carefully, you can see the rainbow. Heaven and earth are here, connected. Perhaps somebody on the other side is uh, looking at you. Perhaps they were a Leo and they've got an eye and they're sending you a message saying that they are with you and all the good luck. Um, they have uh, asked the angels and the divine to bring you luck um, at the this moment. So something in the period of Leo is coming to the forefront. That is on Monday. On Wednesday you have the Nine of Cups. Your wish or goal is coming true. Well, where there is an end there is a new beginning. Also new beginnings in these three cards and Cancer had such a situation as well. Then we have the Archer and the Archer is number seven and that is the Chariot. And I was just talking about Cancer having the same sort of situation. So many cards at the beginning of the week showing a new beginning. You could be meeting a Cancer. Perhaps that is your wish that you are madly in love with a cancer and you feel that you are soulmates be it in a relationship or a friend just a special friendship and you could be meeting up with them okay well the chariot also means cancer represents cancer and the chariot means that you are uh, in uh, well you are in the spotlight but you've got public recognition 
you are the champion you've got victory you're moving onwards and upwards again you might be going on holiday or moving home you might be moving in together with a cancer um, at the end of the week you have the eight of cups you are fed up with the old and you want a new exciting adventurous beginning well that is your wish coming true you you are moving up from eight to nine Woo! that's what is divine luxury is on its way then you have the knight of vessels the knight of vessels um, could be a cancer again it could be a Scorpio or a Pisces he will bring you news uh, somebody will bring you news this could be um, an invitation from a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces you could meet one and you could start perhaps a new affair okay you, if you've got the knight of vessels so we've got uh, I mentioned cancer before I turned this card and your wish might be coming true and they might have heard through the grapevine that you fancy them or whatever and they might be sending you an invite okay okay the knight of cups might bring you an offer of a job or a of love or passion and that will be adventurous and also a new beginning again you've got the page again news this could be cyber news this could be text messages this could be emails or a telephone call this will bring clarity so um, the page of swords is also somebody that is young I know I read for all kinds of ages and thousands of people as I'm so fortunate to go global so for people that are mature there could be somebody bringing you news that is younger than you it could be your child it can be your grandchild but remember um, the, I don't like saying ages or times because that is man-made but the pages stand for young people around 15 to the mid 20s end of 20s so um, in other words this could be a young person delivering you a news a person that's younger than you and I uh, last time I got this situation I said you might even meet a toy boy <laughs> nobody reacted on it but I think that no nothing is impossible let's face it nothing is impossible okay so let's have a look what the last card is if you are in a judicial situation I definitely think you're going to have a positive result you have the wheel of fortune again the same as the Sun going on holiday endings new beginnings uh, 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 the wheel turns so something has come full circle or and uh, you might be going up to the next level the same meaning as the Sun this is also my karma card if you've done good then you will receive it back threefold the same with negative bad stuff you'll get that back threefold if somebody's done you wrong then they will um, get it back threefold that could be the official news you like you are you have won you've got victory with the archer the chariot Wow um, so you might be moving home again and going on holiday but you could go up to a next level in something in relationships or at work now the angel card that you have is the yellow angel card and yellow is also the card of the solar plex and the solar plex means open uh, emotions so open your solar plex to enjoy the energy yellow energy and that's also the energy 
of uh, the sun. Go and sit out in the sun. You can meditate on um, on uh, yellow. You can eat bananas because they are yellow. So don't forget, uh, you can wear yellow and it is definitely a beautiful card because it says positive thinking. So if you are inclined to think negatively then say thank you very much for the warning um, and reset that button. The angels urge you to take control of your thought processes. You have been worried, worrying too much. This causes your mind to race during the day and for you to sleep poorly at night. The yellow angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of mental powers. The angels will assist you to increase your concentration so that you can rationalize your thoughts. You will become calmer and more relaxed by maintaining a positive attitude. Your self-confidence will rise and you will be more able to cope with stressful situations. Give your worries to the angels and the divine so that you can once again have a sunny disposition and full of youth enthusiastic uh, ability in life and about life. So go and sit out in the sun and enjoy the yellow rays of the sun. So think positively. Don't let anybody um, tell you otherwise you are the victor, you've got victory because you know how to check things out. You've got a 44, that's 8, that's your powerhouse and money house. Your wish is coming true. Look at all these positive cards. You want adventure, you're going to get it. You, The angels have your back and you're in your power. So um, if you are signing contracts, make sure that you read the small print as you've got the magnifying glass. So have an other look, if not a better look. Okay, if you are traveling because you've got the travel cards, okay, then make sure that there are no delays, that you've got all the road maps if you're going by car, that nothing has been delayed. Check your itinerary and your paperwork and double check. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Leo. Take care, enjoy the week, and if you're on holiday, then enjoy your holiday. And we'll hopefully we'll see you back safe and sound. Ciao, ciao, my darlings. And if you would like to join me tomorrow um, on Facebook on the live session, I'll be going out twice on online well-being, mind, body, and spirit fair and I will put the link in the description box so you can join me and come and have a look. They are going to start from 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock British Standard Time. So have I, that is uh, from 6 o'clock to 1400 Eastern Time. And I'll be going live twice, uh, somewhere around um, 12.40 and um, 6, six uh, and 6.20 in the evening. So I hope to see you there and if not enjoy your Sunday. Take care, God bless and be blessed. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.